Did you know that despite being the most educated generation in history, 72% of Gen Z feel they are not equipped to deal with the stress of the world? Now doesn't that sound ironic? Let's talk about how Gen Z is slowly giving up. Gen Z, born between the mid to late 1990s and the early 2010 S, are not only the most racially and ethnically diverse generation, they're also on track to be the most well-educated generation yet. But hold up, despite their impressive educational laurels, they're feeling like they've been handed a bad deal. And honestly, they kind of have. Picture this, you're part of a generation that's grown up with information at your fingertips. You're used to instant gratification, and you're constantly bombarded with the world's problems. You're expected to have all the answers, yet you're feeling lost in the labyrinth of life. That's the Gen Z paradox. There are a few factors that contribute to this paradox. One, the pressure to succeed academically has never been higher. Two, the advent of social media has made comparisons and competition more intense. And three, global issues like climate change and political unrest are adding to the stress. Now let's not forget that every silver lining has a cloud. Or was it the other way around? Anyway, the point is, Gen Z is not just about doom and gloom. They're resilient, they're innovative, and they're certainly not ready to throw in the towel just yet. So what's causing this paradox? How did the most educated generation get to a point where they're feeling unequipped to handle the stress of the world? Well, there's several factors, obviously. As the saying goes, knowledge is power. But for Gen Z, knowledge is also stress. As far as academics go, it's a space where Gen Z heirs are feeling the heat. Every generation has faced its share of academic challenges, but the current generation is gripped by an unprecedented level of academic stress. One might wonder, why is that? Well, there's more than one reason. For starters, there's the mounting pressure to excel, to be the best. Not just good, not just great, but the best. This pressure isn't just coming from schools and colleges, it's also coming from parents. And then there are the high stakes standardized tests. These tests, which can make or break a student's future, are a significant source of stress. Remember, it's not just about passing the test. It's about achieving a score high enough to get into a top tier university or land a lucrative job. Let's sprinkle in some statistics here. A study by the American Psychological Association found that nearly half of all teens reported feeling a great deal of stress during the school year, compared to just over a quarter of adults. That's almost twice the amount. This pressure is taking a toll on Gen Z's mental health. Anxiety, depression, and burnout are becoming increasingly common. In fact, the National Institute of Mental Health reports that in the past year, an estimated 31% of adolescents had an anxiety disorder. The impact of this stress is far-reaching. It's not just about the grades on a report card, it's about the well-being of an entire generation. It's about sleepless nights, mental health crises, and young people feeling like they're on a never-ending treadmill of expectations. But it's not just the pressure of the books that's stressing Gen Z out, there's another factor at play. We live in a world where every moment is a photo opportunity, every thought is a snap, and every meal is an Instagram post. This is a generation that grew up in the age of the internet, where social media isn't just a part of life, it's a lifestyle. Every day, they're uploading, liking, sharing, tweeting, and scrolling. Their online presence isn't just about keeping up with friends, it's about keeping up appearances, crafting a persona, and fitting into a virtual world that's always watching. According to a survey by the Pew Research Center, nearly 95% of teens have access to a smartphone, and 45% say they are online almost constantly. This constant connectivity has changed the way Gen Z communicates, and its impact on their mental health. Studies show that high levels of social media use correlate with increased levels of anxiety and depression. With every like, comment, and share, the youth is being judged, compared, and scrutinized. The pressure to look perfect, to be funny, to be liked, it's brutal. And then there's FOMO, fear of missing out. Social media feeds are filled with images of friends at parties, on vacations, living seemingly perfect lives. It's easy to feel like you're missing out. But here's the catch. It's not real. It's a highlight reel, a carefully curated version of reality. And yet it's hard to remember that when you're scrolling through your feed at two in the morning, feeling like you're the only one who's not having the time of their life. Social media isn't all bad, of course. It's a tool, and like any tool, it's about how you use it. It can connect us, inform us, inspire us. But for Gen Z, it can also be a source of stress, anxiety, and self-doubt. Social media is a double-edged sword for Gen Z, but there's one more factor that's contributing to their stress. It's not just personal stressors that are weighing on Gen Z. The world itself seems to be on their shoulders. Let's talk about the big picture. 
Our global stage is a theater of many acts, but two in particular seem to be stealing the show for Gen Z, climate change and political instability. Climate change, for one, is a hot topic, pun intended. This isn't just a passing trend for Gen Z, it's a pressing concern. In fact, a study by Amnesty International found that 74% of Gen Z respondents ranked climate change as the most important issue facing the world. That's nearly three out of every four Gen Zers deeply worried about the future of our planet. Now politics. It's no secret that our political climate is as heated as our physical one. Political instability and social injustice are major concerns for this generation. They are the most diverse generation in history, and this diversity is shaping their political views. According to a survey by the Pew Research Center, 62% of Gen Z adults say increasing racial and ethnic diversity is good for society. This reflects a generation that is not just aware of social issues, but actively seeking change. But it's not just chaos. While these issues may seem overwhelming, they are also motivating Gen Z to take action. They are stepping up to the plate and using their voices to demand political change. They're not just bystanders, they're active participants in shaping the future. So yes, the world is on their shoulders and it's a heavy load to bear, but it's also a load they're not afraid to carry. They're not giving up, they're gearing up. They're facing these global challenges head on and in doing so, they're showing us all what resilience looks like. Between academic pressures, social media stress, and global concerns, it's no wonder Gen Z feels overwhelmed, but all is not lost. Despite the gloomy picture we've painted, there's a silver lining. Gen Z may be stressed, but they're also resilient. Yes, the challenges they face are monumental, but let's not forget. Within this generation lies a unique blend of resilience and determination. Let's look at some numbers. According to a recent survey, over 70% of Gen Z respondents said they believe they can make a difference in the world. That's a significant number, a testament to their hope and optimism. Even under the weight of these pressures, they carry a torch of hope that lights their path forward. But it's not just about hope. Gen Z is taking action. They're using their stress, their worry, their frustration as fuel. They're harnessing it, transforming it into a motivator, a catalyst for change. They're not just dreaming of a better future. They're actively working towards it. They're starting movements. They're raising their voices. They're standing up and demanding change. They're not just surviving in a world that often seems against them. They're thriving, they're fighting, they're making a difference. And this resilience, this hope, this determination, it's not just inspiring, it's infectious. It's a call to all of us, regardless of our generation, to stand with them, to fight with them, to strive for a better world together. So while Gen Z may feel like they're slowly giving up, they're actually gearing up for a revolution. And I'm closing watching what they will do next. This is a Kaleido Canvas overview. Subscribe if you enjoyed, like this video to support, and until next time, take care.